Good day, YouTube. My name is Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. I have good news. I have set up WSJTX for the Anon. Stay tuned. Let me show you how I did it. But first, hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you get notified on new videos I post. Check this out. This is my new setup. Apache Labs Anon 200D. I replaced my Mercury 3S with the new Mercury Lux and I use the Palstar HF Auto. Good day guys. Good evening here. I'm going to show you what we need to do to uh, set up FT8 for the Anon software defined radios. I'm going to give you a reference. Go to your Google web search or web browser. Type in the, the words Thetis user manual and you will find that. So this is the manual that I'm using and I'm just going to highlight some points that we're going to to look at. So chapter 3.6 right here, digital mode operation. We're going to go there. So that's 3.6, but first we need to go and download a virtual uh, what do you call it? A virtual serial connectivity, a connection. So we're going to use COM0, COM, and for the, that's the connection here to Thetis to WSJTX. And then we're going to use this voice meter banana. And that's going to be like your virtual audio cable connection. Let's skip all this stuff for now and let's go to section 7.4 and that's how to download and configure your virtual cables that are required. So just click on this hyperlink. We're there. All right, this is 7.4 and they give you a link here. So if you're able to get on this link and download it and install it correctly and um, go to your task manager or correction device manager and if you can see on the ports that you have com0 com under the ports you need to have at least two so I have com3 that's the interface to the Mercury Lux so you can see uh, I can control it remote control from my desktop and then I, I made uh, COM 4, 5, 6, 7 and that's from COM 0 COM and if you see it up here if you see those ports up here and not under the ports area it's not going to work Another thing, if you run into a problem with downloading this and you don't see the COM ports listed, see this blog right here? See this website? HTTP colon slant slant radio dot JSH dot DE slash COM zero COM dot zip. Just take this website and then pay, and then type it in and then hit enter it's going to download it under my downloads folder uh, it's this one here I downloaded it and unzipped it and this is what you see um, you're going to take the com0 com the one that has 32 plus 64 bit and it's signed it's only 248 kilobytes you do a right mouse click and then run it as the administrator and follow all the prompts. Once you get that downloaded, you might get an, a pop-up message that your graphic user interface, the GUI, is unable to load. 
it's because you're going to need to have Microsoft.NET Framework at least 2.0 installed on your computer. We're talking about Windows 10. So do a search for that, and this is the one that I use. Download Microsoft.NET Framework 2.0 Service Pack 1. And there's a the link there. I'm just going to click on it. And this is what it looks like. It already downloaded. So let's take a look at my downloads folder. It's right here, the very first one on top. Run that as an administrator. Install it. You might have to reboot your computer once you get that installed. So that was the problem that I ran into that I did a little research on finding which COM0 COM serial port uh, emulator works. So we got that installed. Okay, good. And you can read all this stuff here. Um, it's telling you to, I didn't really delete one pair, but uh, it's telling you to label it as COM21 and the other one COM22. You don't really have to do that. Just remember what you have. And uh, right now it's COM, I'm going to use COM4 and COM5. So that's the uh, virtual COM <clears throat> using COM0 uh, COM, COM. The next thing we're going to do is to download Voice Meter Banana, and there's a link already in the um, Thetis manual. So just, I'm going to do a right mouse click and then open a new tab. So it's going to bring you to this download. And right here, you're going to download this, unzip it, and install it. After you install that Voice Meter Banana, it tells you a number two here to restart your PC. And then let's take a look here. Open your Windows Control Panel, Hardware, and Sound, and then the manage the audio devices. Let me give you a shortcut. All right, down here on the bottom right, where you have the little speaker icon, right mouse click, click on Sound. It's actually Sounds with an S. All right, it's telling you here. Uh, we're going to go and look for, let's go to playback first. You're looking for voice meter aux input, voice meter input. That's under playback. And then under recordings, you're looking for, down at the bottom, voice meter aux output, voice meter output. And that's listed right here. There's four new audio devices present on your playback and recording tabs, and it's listed right there. Okay, you guys see that? Okay, I lost my sound. Okay, here it is. All right, so we're gonna start from the playback. So the playback, it's telling you to select 16-bit 48 thousand Hertz DVD quality so this is what you need to do you uh, double click on that and you get the um, input properties go to advance and then on the drop down you're going to select that 16 bit 48,000 Hertz DVD quality apply click OK you're going to do the same thing for the voice meter input. Double click, advance. You search for 16 bit, 48,000 hertz DVD quality. Apply, click OK. Do the same thing for the recording. Down at the bottom, voice meter aux output. Double click, go to advance. And then now you're going to select two channel 16 bit, and that's listed right here. Two channel 16 bit 48,000 hertz DVD quality. Okay. 
So we're there and then that's it's selected. Apply, click OK and do the same for voice meter output. Double click, advance, select two channel 16 bit 48,000 hertz DVD quality. Apply and OK. So that's number five. Number six, that was a tricky one to find. Virtual aux IO control panel. Go to your Windows search down at the bottom left. You want to type in virtual aux and then it popped up because we installed it. You see it right here? Open app. And uh, we're going to click on that. Click yes. Now what you're seeing is the same image on the Thetis manual. So what it's telling us up here, number seven now, move it up. Number seven, click options, select internal sampling rate 48,000 hertz. Click. That's it. There's no OK. There's no um, accept or any kind of verification. All right, we started the I/O computer or control panel from AB. All right, we did that, and then start voice meter banana. All right, so that's basically um, the application. So I don't know where it is, but I'll, I'm going to type in. I mean, I see it right there, but I'm going to just type in voice meter. Meter is spelled with two E's, and it's right here. So I'll just click on it. I want to move it aside. So this is what we got. Top right, click the A1 and select the output audio device, and it's telling your PC speakers. So this is what they want. A1, select your speakers. Don't select like what I got here. Um, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett Solo, and that's my center of my sound. That's my sound central. So I clicked on it, and you see the check mark on the left? Okay, and that's it for that. Now setting up virtual audio in Thetis. Now this is going to require Thetis to be started up, I think. Don't close out of here. Just minimize this. And it's down here in your taskbar. Or uh, I don't know what they call this. I guess taskbar. Um, what I do, where is it? Uh, it's right here. What I do is I do a right mouse click and make sure you pin it to the taskbar. Setting up Thetis. All right, so we got to go to Thetis. I'm going to move this aside. Okay, and Thetis is right here. One click. All right, so we don't need to actually turn it on. So it's telling us to open menu, set up cat control. Set up, move it over here. You can see it. All right, here's cat control serial. In the cat control, select ports to com. Remember, mine is four. All right. So uh, I selected COM4. You see it there where my mouse is? And then the um, the baud rate is 9600. The parity none, eight data bits, and one stop bit. And I went ahead and labeled it. This is for, actually, I'm not using JTDX, so I just labeled it WSJTX. 
Now click the enable or ticket right there. Enable that. Click apply. So we did that. That's what it looks like. Look there. Look on my screen. Now 21. Open the menu setup audio VAC1. Here's VAC1. You have to do this exactly what it says or else it probably won't work. Your drivers have to be MME. You see mine? I selected MME. Input. Well, before input, number 23. All right, the transmit and receive gain, that's right here. That's 0 dB by default. 24 and 25, select the input, voice meter output. So here's the input, voice meter output. For the output, select output, voice meter, input. Output, voice meter, input. All right, it jives. Moving along. Take a look at the left and right screen. All right, it all matches, except this tick mark. You can tick it now, because later on it's going to tell you to put a, a check mark there. Now select uh, mode digital upper sideband and tune to 40 meters uh, FT8 frequency. I'm just going to click apply and OK for now. So you select, for example, you select digital upper sideband and then tune your frequency to the 40 meters FT8 frequency. And I got it right there, 7074. 27, start Thetis. Now you hear it, right? And I'm going to turn off your volume. You should hear audio from the, the PC speakers. Now it's telling us to go back into that voice meter, banana, and in that middle section you should see some flickering of some audio signals. So come back down to voice meter. I minimized it. Now I want to maximize it right here in the middle where my mouse is. There's going to be a little flickering of audio. And that's good. You want that. All right, Theodis is now ready to go. You can use digital mode programs to connect to other end of the virtual links. That's it for that. While this is uh, like this, I'm going to minimize it. And uh, I'm going to put this back on here. And I'm going to go back to the top to chapter 3.6. I'm just going to roll it to the top and just go 3.6. Click on it. I'm just going to scroll down more. So setting up the virtual audio in Thetis. Run voice meter bananas from your Windows menu. Yeah, we got it. Remember, I minimized it. It's right there. There's, um, that's me talking. Hello, test. Um, so we're receiving signals off of the A1. Minimize it. Run Thetis. It's running in the background. You see it there? There's activity. Open menu, set up cat control. And it's repeating itself. Set up cat control, serial. It's repeating itself. So let me. Let me uh, minimize this. I can't minimize it because that goes away. I'll just move this aside. All right, so here we're verifying this again. At CAT controls, we're at COM4, not 21, because mine setup is 4. And then 9600 baud 981. It matches, right? So this is what I was telling you. Number six is to enable the, where is that? Enable, not, this is what I'm talking about down here at 12. So it's six is this here, cat one enabled. Uh, seven, 
now we're opening up the uh, virtual audio cable channel one so go to audio tab VAC one you're verifying you enabled the VAC one that's here that check mark your drivers MME your transmit and receive is zero DB select your uh, input voice meter output here's the input voice meter output select the output voice meter input here's the output voice meter input this is what I was talking about it's that tick auto enable so there it is now this is very important you may have a different buffer size make sure you're running it 2048 2048 for your buffer size click apply OK alright we already digital upper sideband yep the frequency set yep set the drive to 25 watts uh, I already did it already so I'm gonna set it for 2 um, and then set your filter width to 2.5 down here it's 2.5 start theaters yep it's already running you should hear audio from the PC yes I hear audio and then this is now ready to go. You're ready to use WSJTX to connect to the other end of the virtual link. Hey man, we're almost done. Now we're going to do the uh, setting up the WSJTX. I'm not going to show you how to download it and how you set up your own profiles uh, in that program. But the important ones, we need to make sure that is set up properly. I have it here. Double clicked it. It's popping up. WSJTX. I'm going to move it over here so you can see it. I don't want to see this again. Hey, I'm going to move this little pretty little graph over here. Okay. Select File Settings. You go to File, go to Settings. I'm going to move it over here. Go to your radio tab. Well, number three says enter your station details. Okay, in the general tab. Um, number four, radio tab. Um, select your Kenwood TS2000. But you know what? Look what I got selected. Flex radio, Anon, Power SDR, and Thetis. I chose that instead. Okay, remember COM ports running pairs? COM port 4 was the the uh, audio, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm getting tired. You know what time it is? It's uh, 11.30, almost midnight. Hey, man. Leave me a like because I'm doing this for you guys. And I accept uh, donations. Coffee. Yeah, it's another link for donations. Um, all right, so they run in pairs, four and five. So uh, I selected five for mine. All right, so you can use Kenwood TS2000, but I'm going to use the Thetis. Flex Radio, a non-power SDR Thetis. All right, so this is all the same. And... Uh, 9600 baud, 8 bits, 1 stop bit, your handshake is, is default, your PTT method is going to be cat, and mode none, and split operation none. So you follow all this, see all these little dots, make sure it matches yours, and then click test the cat it goes green beautiful all right select the audio tab there's the audio tab and you're going to select for the input you're going to select the voice meter output under the output you're going to select voice meter input and that's it 
So I'm going to go back here to radio tab. I tested it green. I'm going to test my push to talk. You should hear your Anon relay kick in. I hear it. It went click and then click. It's working. Number 10 in the WSJTX program select mode FT8. So what do you do? Okay, I'm done with this. I'm going to click OK. Go up here to WSJTX. Go to mode. Select FT8. The program should start to decode signals. So you should be receiving signals, right? Number 11 in Thetis, select mic as the transmit meter mode. In Thetis, select mic. I'm not, I'm not even sure where that was. <laughs> I just left it as is. I think this is what they mean. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, in theta, select mic as the transmit meter mode. I'm in transmit, but heck, I don't know where it is. But it's working. <laughs> Let me know if you found that. I'm too tired right now. All right, the 13, adjust your power slider to the right of WSGX so the mic level reaches uh, 0 dB. I don't know what that means. Press tune again to cancel transmit. What I do is um, under the transmit, I like to use my fixed drive. I, I, I want the, the transmitter to only transmit 10 watts to tune only for tuning. At this point, you are set up, okay, to use WSJTX and Thetis. And uh, that's it. So, apply, okay. On Thetis, go to your transmit mode, create a new profile. So yeah, I created an FTA profile, and then any changes you make here, you'll get an orange box up here. For example, it's like I wanted to change my my monitor to say to when I'm listening to myself on on the radio, uh, I want to make a monitor six, and then I click apply. You see this orange box? It's letting you know you made a change um, in in any of these. Um, field or these tabs that's going to affect your your profile so once you see that change before you get out of uh, get out of here save it I'm going to save it over my FTA profile click OK and then are you sure yes and it goes away thanks Richie for uh, letting me know how to do that okay good click OK we're ready to play. Let me look at these settings real quick. WSJTX settings. All right, we looked at the radio. We did all that. The the audio. We did all that. Um, reporting. I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's just taking this and importing the the um, QSOs what do they call it, um, broadcast your ADIF files via UDP. So you can look at what I have that set up um, while it's on screen. I'm going to bring up my log for old man. Log for old man. Look at that. You want to know how the CAT control works from your Anon to your Log4OM? I'm telling you, you need to buy me a coffee. But I'm running out. Here it is. Thetis Setup. Go to Networks. Networks. 
under TCI. Oh, well, I'll do it in both TCI and TCP. You click on define and then start the server. Same goes with TCP. So 127.001.5001. And then here's, I'm not sure what 13.013 is, what that port's running, but I went ahead and turned it on anyways. Apply. Let's take a look at log4om. Go to your settings, program configuration. Bring it down here. Under software integration, go to connections. And uh, this is how you get your inbound and outbound. Um, what am I talking about? Damn, time now is 1137. This is how you get your UDP data. And it's going to list your, your QSOs. Uh, saves it. All right. Let me see what else. CAD interface. TCI. This is what I really want to talk about. So you go to CAT interface right here under hardware configuration. So you click TCI and see that 127.0.0.1 and 5001. This is your control right here from the Thetis. That's how you change frequencies. That's how they talk behind the scenes. Let's take a look at the settings. Make sure you select the TCI protocol. Cat auto starts. And you can look at my my configuration there. Omni rig, no, we're not using that. And ham live, no, we're not using that. So these two, setting and TCI. You're going to see this populate after we make QSOs. So let me uh, bring up the WSJTX. How I like to tune it, I like to tune it from Thetis. There you go, I'm, I'm 10 watts of power on the amplifier, uh, correction, on the uh, tuner, 1.01. It's already been tuned. Um, what you see in that, those little wavy lines there, that is um, my LED lights. So let me turn off them off. That's one. That's the one that's causing the mess. You see all those wavy lines? I gotta fix this. I gotta learn how to adjust it. That's me transmitting and tuning. It's twice a different color. It's gray. All right. So you don't use pure signal here. <laughs> um, power drive is two percent on the power. You'll see the power for power here, and uh, I'm going to turn on the amplifier, operate, enable the transmit. Here we go, CQ, CQ, CQ. I'm gonna give you guys audio, let's see. It might be a little too loud when it's transmitting. I don't know how to adjust that transmit. It was loud here. Yeah, you see how it's loud? I'm sorry, I'm blasting your ears. I was putting out about 122 watts. Let's look at the power out here. Six hundred and eighty-four watts, baby. Zero reflected. Somebody talk to me now. Unless you guys are asleep. Look at that. Lori, you have made history. Uh, FT8 on YouTube with Darren, N4VFR. <laughs> Oh, we got other got other people. Um, 
sorry, you're picking up my feedback. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I looked over here at OBS. It's like, oh, you're hearing the transmit. I got to find out where I can lower that volume. Because when I'm transmitting on, um, on OBS, I mean, it's pegging. All right, so it pops up here and then click OK. You will see her call sign K04YIN logged. And I got a bunch of people. We have WH7Q. Man, we're going to hit Hawaii. Alan, welcome to my channel. WH7Q, this is N4VFR. Look at the power output, 600 plus. SWR is flat. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to do uh, these guys um, after I get uh, him done and then we're going to call it the day. But I um, hope uh, you guys get yours set up because it's a whole lot of fun. All right, let's bring down this power. Put this bad boy in standby. All right, 73s. Here's the log. Click OK. Populate. Man, I'm so tired. Hey, I got a question. How many of you guys, my viewers, have a bathroom in your shack. Take a look. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. It's uh, 10 minutes till midnight. And uh, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Helping out other hams. I just saw the uh, the post uh, earlier in the day um, somebody was asking the question hey how do I set up the Anon to operate on FT8 well here's my step step-by-step -step videos I hope you guys uh, were able to do it successfully if not ask me a question I might uh, be able to help you out my name is Darren my call sign N4 VFR 73s and have a good evening.